Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. And I want to talk to you today about how to get a light switch out of an earlier MGB padded dashboard. Now, these can seem to be really difficult. I've had a guy call me from Dayton, Ohio with a, uh, an MGC and he said, how in the world do I get, get my light switch out? There's got that, that wire clip on the back. What do I do? Well, Trevor's going to come around here to the table and uh, we're going to show you. Here's the light switch, okay? Here's the light switch and here's the wire clip. Now, there's no way that wire clip is going to come out of here. That wire clip sandwiches the dash between the, the lip of the uh, switch and the wire. What you need to do is to fashion a special tool. Look at this, huh? Here's my special tool. So to, to get this out of the dash, the first thing you do is push the special tool onto the switch and the switch pops out because the switch has got these barbs. See the barbs here, top, top and bottom. Okay. Then, this is still sitting in the dash, this is the nacelle. And if you want to take this out, then you just pinch this thing together out it comes and out this guy comes out of the dash and you can paint these back up or make them flat black or whatever you you want to do then you put it back in the dash slide this in the front put the wire clip on the back and simply push the switch in from the front you hear, heard it click there now it's all nice and nice and firm back in there so it's a relatively easy thing to do as long as you have this guy now, a more complicated one, and this is broken. I, I really apologize. I, I looked for a, um, this is the later style nacelle, um, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find one. Anyway, the, uh, the clip that goes around this has to be lifted out, uh, out of the side and, and uh, peeled off the back. And this, when it's not broken, as this is, holds the illumination bulb above here so that the, the little uh, uh, green window here at the top that says lights or heater or fan or whatever it might be is illuminated. Uh, so anyway these are uh, quite frankly these are more difficult to get off underneath because these have got these little uh, oh there's little fingers I don't think the camera's good enough to come in and see it. It's like putting together a model airplane or something little tiny little tiny black uh, um, fingers in there that fit into the guy here and of course you, you can't spread it open like this because uh, if you do it breaks the top uh, like this one's broken anyway these are the more complicated ones these are the uh, what 72 maybe illuminated switches through 76 now the reason that this fellow wants to take the the uh, switch out he said he was tuning up the car and all of a sudden he looked over and his headlight switch was smoking I said, did you have the lights on? He said, no. And I said, well, good thing you were by the car. Anyway, we talked about how to put a relay onto his wiring uh, so that not all the current that was going through the, the switch um, was going through the headlights. Now, right now, you've got your battery. That's, that's e easy enough. And eventually, we've got a brown wire here, N for brown which goes to the headlight switch and the headlight switch uh, makes a, a connection to uh, uh, to red to the red wires for the parking lights or to the blue wires whoops blue is not B is it it's U for the blue wires and that goes to the dipper switch where, where it's sent off into either um, blue with red or blue with white, uh, and those those then go off to to the the headlights. Um, the headlights are then grounded. But blue blue with red is is your low beam. Blue with white is your high beam. Now let's say that you uh, you want to put a relay in in the circuit here so that you're not overtaxing your headlight switch or your dipper switch. So. Now we put a we put a relay down here. We've got to bring a, a heavy brown wire from somewhere. 
off the solenoid, off the bottom of the fuse box, but somehow we've got to have another main power wire, a brown wire, and that's got to come to the contact in the relay. There's the contact in the relay, and that's going to drive the, that you hook up to the blue with white, and that's going to drive the, the lights. The wire which comes through the two switches, the headlamp switch and the dipper switch now, is the um, uh, is the coil on the uh, on the relay. So the coil on the relay is hooked to the switch, and the other end I've shown a little ground on that. So now when you turn on the headlight switch on the headlights, and you switch it over to uh, uh, blue with white, for instance, over to bright lights. It operates the relay. Now the power is able to come out of the battery, go through the switch in the relay, and run the lights, and all that heavy current is not going through the, uh, the switches. The best place to put this is right down uh, at the uh, front of the car. We'll go out and we'll take a look at a car out here and show you just where I mean. So here, here we've got a 1969 MGB, and here we obviously are. We're down, down in front. Here's our blue. See our blue with red. So this is our blue with red out of the out of the loom, and we'd pull that out of here. Easy for me to do. And uh, we'd run this to our relay, to the operational lead on the relay, the coil, and put the other end to ground. And then we'd bring a new wire off the solenoid or off the fuse box to the contact in the relay, and put the other contact of the relay in, into here. And as a result, um, then the lights would illuminate from that extra wiring. Now it's not original, but it sure is a nice way to, uh, to uh, keep your switches from, uh, from failing. And the original switches are starting to fail, we're starting to see that, and the replacement switches, well, most of those would do better with a relay on them. Anyway, that's the scoop from here, and uh, good luck to, to uh, my friend who's called from Dayton, Ohio with his MGC, I think you'll be able to get that switch out of your dash now. See you later.